Greetings. The purpose of this video is to help my students learn how to use Excel to create a predictive model for a mixed cost. The background to this data here is you have a company that builds toy airplanes and they have accumulated some historical data. When they produce 4 million toy airplanes, they incur a total manufacturing overhead cost of $12 million. If they only produced 0.5 million units, they incurred a total manufacturing overhead cost of $3 million. And what we've learned in the class is that if you analyze historical data, and if nothing changes, nothing changes, you know, as long as we're within what's called the relevant range, we should be able to use this historical data to write a formula that might be able to help us predict the total cost at other levels of production that we haven't seen necessarily in the past. So we're going to use Excel to do what's called a least squares linear regression. First thing, make sure your activity, which is your X, number of units produced, is in your first column, and your total cost, which is your Y, for manufacturing overhead, is in the second column. Highlight both columns, including the titles. Go up to your ribbon, choose Insert, choose a scatter graph, and what that does is it creates a scatter graph of your points. So for example at 3 million units, go over to 3 million units here, historically we incurred 9 million dollars and each of these other plotted points are based on this data. Next we want to do is we want to fit a line that is the best fit through all these points that minimizes the square distances from these plotted points to this predictive line. I'm going to click any point right click it, choose add trend line and we're going to have a linear regression which is what we wanted and we also want to show the formula for this line so I'm going to display equation on chart by clicking on that box. So the way to read this formula is total manufacturing overhead cost in this example is equal to B which is my variable cost per unit 2.6916 X, which is the number of units produced, plus A, which is the total fixed cost. So if we were to extend this line all the way to where it intersects with the vertical axis, that point would be 0 0.6075 million. So we have a fixed cost that goes all the way across within the relevant range at 0 0.6075. And then anything above that is your total variable cost. So the way I'd use this formula is let's say I wanted to predict what the total manufacturing overhead cost would be at 1 million units, I would pop 1 into this X, so it would be 1 million times 2.6916, this combined would be my total variable cost, my BX, and that would be uh, part of this number, and we'd add to that the fixed cost 0 0.6075, so you'll see at 1 million the first 0 0.6075 would be a fixed cost, and on top of that would be the variable cost which is 2.6916 million because we only had 1 million units those two combined is your total variable cost and so you could use this model at various levels of production to predict the future hope it helps